Hello. <laughs> Hello everyone, and happy Halloween. Today we're going to be doing something a little spooky, and we're going to be building a little Halloween guillotine sort of build. So these are the kind of materials you'll need to do it, and let's get straight into it. Just as a disclaimer before we get started, I'm going to be using banners and dye in this build, so you're going to need to grab yourself a loom so you can perform this. Now, you don't have to use the exact same blocks that I use, these are just the blocks that I find preferable. So, you're going to want to place some stairs just like this, then a slab in the middle, one stair block facing the right way, and now two upside down stairs. This is going to be the platform that the guillotine sits on, and just for reference, the guillotine will be facing this way, so this will be the back of the guillotine if you're building this in a specific direction. Now as you walk up the back, place two black stone walls on each side and follow that up by fences five high on each pillar. Now add a platform at the top, which the actual guillotine will sit on. We'll have one chain and then a stair block facing this way so that the larger side of the stair is facing the front of the guillotine. Now we're going to be heading over to the loom to create the banner. Now I'm going to start off with a light grey banner and to begin with I'm just going to put a line going this way. So this is called a white bend sinister. Once you've done this step we're going to be using the white dye again to create the gradient from the bottom. So you want to have white bend sinister and then white base gradient. And once again, we're going to do the gradient with the red dye. And that will be the banner done. Now we can place that bad boy on there and see how that looks. So I went for the white diagonal line. I feel like it looks like the shine of a blade. And then obviously the red gradient is spooky blood. Now if you come around to the back side, you can choose either left or right. I'm going to be choosing right. And if you go one block back from this upside down stairs, break two blocks down, you want to place a chicken just here. Now place a lead on the chicken and make sure you cover it up, otherwise it will fly away. And you want to come to the same side that you placed the lead on, four blocks up, so it's next to the guillotine. And place a lead just like that. This will create a little string leading to down here. Now you just want to place a lever here. So. It looks like you can pull the guillotine down. Now I'm just going to be adding some extra visual effects. This is completely optional, you don't have to do this. But I'm just going to be adding some redstone blocks, just like that. So it looks like some blood has been spilt. And that just about wraps up the build. I'm just going to be adding some bone meal around, just to make it a little more visually appealing. And then placing some pumpkins just around these areas here. And then you can place little pickles on top. It looks like the um, stalk has grown. So yeah, that's about the end of the build, guys. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a very great Halloween. Thank you very much.